Hello everyone, it is Foulplay here, and we are back for match 3 of this Bogles Modern League. Now currently on green-white, I have been dashing around with the blue-white, and to be honest it's not really been too bad. It's a little bit different than the normal deck, but lots of card draw and uh, interaction as well, which is nice. So we are up against uh, Mallow Volant. Uh, we've revealed our Lurus Companion. Um, this hand doesn't seem good enough to me, like, if I had two core spirit dancers, I'd probably keep this, but on the back of one, it just seems a little bit fragile, um, and even if I go in on a Dryad Arbor, like, Dryad Arbor with Spider Umber Rancor doesn't really excite me at all, so I'm just gonna mulligan this. Alright, well, this is pretty much the exact same hand, but Hyena Umber instead of Rancor, I guess I keep, I don't really have a huge amount of choice, I'm not happy about it. We'll bottom the arbor and ship it to our opponent. Okay, Mish's Bobble. Let's hopefully they're they're doing like a uh, Swift Spit instead of a Thought Seize. It's not looking too good at the moment. Alright, well, I've only got three cards in hand. I mean, maybe we get lucky. Alright, let's play it. I'm half tempted just to concede there, but I think we might be able to get there because our auras are quite good. We can turn three Lurus into turn four. I'll turn three Lurus into hand into Turn for Lurus plus Umbra. Uh, maybe it's not the best. I don't know. It feels kind of bad. We can also go in on a Dried Arbor as well, which is important. I can't believe we drew land. Four land. Three land hand, bottom land. Draw another one. Not what we want. Hopefully, they just did a whole bunch of blanking or are stuck on one mana and can't do much. Uh, maybe like... Two Gurmag Anglers in hand or something? Alright, never mind. Alright, here comes the Thought Seas. So. Yes, our opponent had it all. They get to see that we drew terribly. Um, now they are committing the Death Shadow down. The Gurmag Angler. Well, that's not nearly as scary as the Death Shadow. I'm going to go ahead and get this Dried Arbor. Maybe we draw a decent aura and we can start going off from there. Well, finally. Alright, we find a creature on our turn two. So that's not too bad. But our opponent's done a lot of work on their side of the board. I uh, guess we get out our Temple Garden. Hope to top deck our Daybreak Coronet. And they don't have Stubborn Denial. Honestly, that's a pretty good one, because it gets us past kill spell, so. Yep, there's the fatal push that we knew was very likely to be there. They're just attacking in, holding up Watery Grave. Obviously, they draw a card off the bobble there. Um... Hmm. So we might as well attack our opponent. I can't see us winning if we don't ever deal damage to them. Fortunately, they've also dealt a lot of damage to themselves. Play out this other Bogle. Potentially use it as a chump blocker. See how this turn develops. Well, they just milled a Stubborn Denial off the top with Thought Scout, plus the Bloodstained Mire. Um, I don't really see us needing to block this attack. Maybe the next attack. Just I'd way, way prefer to block a Death Shadow than uh, the Gurmag Angler there. Second Gurmag, okay. Hmm. Hmm. 
So I guess we rankle and then pass the turn. End of turn, cycle this rising canopy, look for Daybreak Coronet. Uh, pretty much the only card that will get us out of this predicament we're in. And that's assuming they don't have Stubborn Denial for it. So they Thought Scout themselves again. Stubborn Denial to the Grave. Good, that's two Stubborn Denials in the Grave. As long as they're not running Snapcaster Mage, we dodge the Stubborn Denial here. Got to chump block one of these death uh, Gurmags. Uh, that seems very odd. Okay. Think I think I want to chump block still. Is this just blue black shadow? I haven't seen any red yet. So the likelihood of them having Snapcaster Mage is probably a little bit higher now. So I can attack for lethal, trade my Umbra with their Gurmag Angler, assuming the Rankle resolves. <clears throat> and then... Hope to top deck Aura next turn, they'll be on 5. Oh, and I have lethal. Um, or I could just leave up Chump Blockers. Play Core Spirit Dancer, look to play Rancor on Core Spirit Dancer next turn. I think I go for the Rancor now line. Alright, so attack them. They have to block with Gurmag unless they've got Snapcaster, but they would have just stubborn denied that if they did. So we lose Spider Umbra. They go to 5. They can attack us to 2. Yep. So we're looking for like an ethereal armor or something next turn. Because assuming if they can't kill us, they're just going to leave out chump blocks. And we need to have dodge dodge like a death shadow unless we rip griff spoon. Um, I guess even if we trade this scout for the Gurmag Angler, we can go back in on core spirit dancer. Hmm. Oh, there's the scary death shadow, so Griff Spoon will save us now. That's a pretty good one too. Alright, um Let's attack with our scout. Hopefully they just block with Death Shadow. Uh and then we can do a trample trick with Path to Exile. If not, we kill both their creatures, which isn't bad. Alright, so now we're looking for land for our Core Spirit Dancer. So we can do Core Spirit Dancer plus Rancor. Um, hmm. oh, what creatures he draw now? Goodness gracious. Third Gurma Gangler. You got it. Alright, no fatal push, please. We are, like, bricking on land somewhat fierce. Although, like, we're also drawing gas, so I don't know if I can complain. Alright, there's the fatal push. So, path off the top to deal with angler into creature. Alright, well, we just brick. Damn, that was close. Uh, maybe I misplayed it a bit. With that attack, maybe I should have just passed the Death Shadow and passed to my opponent. I don't know, I felt like they drew ridiculously better than what we did. Um, so it just seems like it's blue-black, so Leyline, Path, both seem strong. Spirit Dancer seems pretty weak, although it's kind of a nice draw engine later on, so we might want some of them. Uh, we'll minus an all the glitters, and uh, probably these Spider Umbras are a little bit weak as well. So we'll take both of them out. Alright, looks good to me. 
I don't think I want to interact with our graveyard with the Soul Guide Lantern. Like, 90% of the time, our Bogle is going to be bigger than their Gurmega Angler anyway, and we only care about the uh, Death Shadow, realistically. Otherwise, we just get stuck into overboarding. Like, I've already got eight cards for them. I don't need more. Alright, cool. This hand seems gas. I might just bottom the Windswept Teeth. Oh, actually, I bottom the Plains. I might want, uh, in case they've got Liliana, Windswept Teeth to uh, fetch me a Dryad. Liliana is, like, not the most common card at the moment, but, you know, they can still play it. It's still a very powerful card. Here goes, goodbye to our Hyena Umbra. I guess if they don't have any other discard, if they have another discard spell, they'll take Hyena Umbra. If they don't, they'll take Daybreak, maybe. So annoying. If we had Leyline in hand here, we could just bottom the scout and then, like, hands protected and we just attack in for a bunch and kick them in the face. Um, this can't be a hard decision. So I presume he's got another discard effect here. Also, be worried about, like, Plague Engineer in this matchup as well. Alright, so we drew the Ethereal Armor. We might as well just dump our hand. There's no point slow rolling it, right? Hopefully they just had the one discard spell and they were looking to get, you know, they were just a bit greedy. Maybe they get stuck on mana as well. Like these decks only play 17 lands typically, so it's quite easy for that to happen to them. Alright, so they just had it all. Um, whoop de doo Alright, and we draw the Grisburn, so that's pretty gas. I'll take that. So our two draws, I guess, were very good draws, but, you know. Like, this this hand that my opponent had would have done literally nothing if they didn't have Thought Seize. If we had Leyline on the board, they'd be sitting here doing nothing. They'd be Thought Seizing themselves. And, look, they're stuck on one land. They can't do anything right now. Um, I guess Thought Scour's done something. Maybe it sets up a Gurmag, but they're also a very li low life total, and we've got Flying on the board. So we can attack them to one and then fly over the top and finish them off. So it's really strong. Uh, with the Misha's Bobble, they targeted us, so they know what's coming. What was the card they looked at? Uh, it was another Ethereal Armor. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Well, that went well. Um, I feel like we probably want to hinge on Core Spirit Dancer even less. I might bring in this All That Glitters. And we'll go with that. Sure. Why not? Oh my god, could I have a good 7, please? Holy crap. Mull every game. Opponent's keeping a 7. We can only assume it's got discard. Alright, snap keep this stuff. Uh, we'll bottom the all that glitters. Done. Ley line out. Done. Come at me, opponent. You got another thoughts in his hand? I'd like to see it. That's a good one, too. Uh, so, yep. Just scout. Scout and pass. If and when we resolve this Grisburn, it's going to be really strong for us as well. So, Thought Scour. That's fine. This really smells like a Gurmog Gangler. Or are they just holding up Stubborn Denial? That seems really bad if that's their line. Okay. I guess maybe they're just trying to get Death Shadow on board. <clears throat> I mean, 
If they're going to play Stubborn Denial, I'm going to crack the fetch land. <laughs> Come on, opponent. Uh, yeah, I think this works out quite nicely. So we can attack here, promote them playing Death Shadow next turn. Then we can path that, and if they have Stubborn Denial, they'll look to counter the path. And then we just cast Daybreak Coronet, attack in the air, and gain some life. Really nothing from your opponent. Nothing. Alright. Yeah, good old top deck land to play around Stubborn Denial. I guess if they've got two Stubborn Denials, they can get us. Or Mystical Dispute does see play. They could tap that for three mana. Alright, so opponent just conceded. The cost for Horizon Canopy can't be played. I don't know why it wasn't letting me tap Horizon Canopy for mana then. Maybe it was because he... Okay, I just did it again. Maybe he conceded and buffed it afterwards. Um, so obviously, Daybreak had seen enough. I don't know what his hand was supposed to be doing. Maybe it was just a Thoughtseize hand that looked to disrupt me and then eventually grind into it. And Obviously, we were like able to play around... Daybreak uh, around Stubborn Denial perfectly, which he only had one of. Even if you counted like this with a second Stubborn Denial, next turn we can do Daybreak Coronet again with the other Daybreak in our hand and like just get them that way. And the turn after that, we're top decking another Daybreak by the looks of things. So yeah, uh, looks like we managed to get there. Uh, I didn't think we were going to for a while there, um, but we came good, came good. Fortunately, Leyline was very OP in Game 3 there as well. That was very, very clutch. Um, so thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the uh, match here today. Uh, leave a like if you did, and comment down below. Let me know what you thought of it. Uh, if you're new, be sure to subscribe for Daily Bogles content. We are doing three leagues a week uh, with a blue, uh, white, or band uh, league on the Sunday as well. So if you're keen to check that, hit subscribe and follow the channel. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time.